This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hing.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Throughout the nation and around the globe, from his heart to yours, it's Dear James Live on the radio. Here on the Contact Talk Radio Network, bringing you intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dear James, live here on the radio, on the Contact Talk Radio, I should say. And today is Express Yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. As you know, it is a live, all-call-in show. So that means all of you listening, pick up the phone, dial in, and express yourself. Tell me what's going on, and then hear what Dear James has to say. The topic today is thorn in your side. And before we launch into that, I just want to... The phone lines are open. It's 877 230 3062, as I always say, have the courage to call in. The only way you're going to address that thorn in your side and get it off your chest and work through it, transcend it, transform it, all of those great things, is for you to call in and talk about it. So don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't wait till the last minute. You know, just have the courage to call in and express yourself. It's such a liberating act. And the universe is there waiting to speak to you. And that's incredibly important. And, you know, whether we're on topic, whether it's about a thorn in your side or not, if it's about something else, if it's a relationship issue, if it's a career issue, if it's whatever it might be, a love interest issue, whatever the issue is, call in and let's talk about it. Again, the phone lines are open. It's 877-230-3062. The first two callers receive a private 30-minute consultation with me. It's an intuitive consultation. We talk one-on-one via the telephone or Skype, and it's a free, uh, it's a free session, and that is normally $90. And so, hey, it's a free consultation. But before I get into the consultations and, and the actual show, I wanted to uh, also give, do some quick housekeeping, if you will. So, As you may have heard last week, I launched a change.org campaign, or petition, if you will, um, to consider Dear James for the first male co-host on The View. And it's been a really, really amazing um, experience and opportunity to interact. I have been working a lot on my Facebook page, um, sending out announcements on that that particular vehicle and via Twitter. And, and it's just amazing the number of people that are liking the posts and commenting and interacting with me. And, you know, and some of them from a point of view of, no, 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 it's a woman show. And, and, you know, we can't have a man there. And so I'm going to address that a little bit later, but the amazing thing is that people are interacting and talking about it. And that's the entire point is to have a dialogue to broaden and deepen the dialogue. Because when we do, and when we talk with one another, as opposed to at or for one another, um, I think we all gain wisdom. We all win. And that's the point of the petition. So if you haven't yet, please go to either change.org and sign the petition, or you can go to uh, dearjames.com and click on community, and you will see the link there. You'll see the post and the link there, or you can go to my Facebook page, so facebook.com forward slash Dear James LLC, and you will see uh, there's two different posts there running, and there's a link there that you can click on to sign that. So, you know, it's about everyone voicing their opinion and voicing their view, and that's really an amazing, important opportunity for you to express yourself. And that's what I love about today's show is express yourself. Tell it like it is and then hear what Dear James has to say. And, of course, it's thorn in your side. And also, quickly, two planetary things going on. There's certainly more than two going on. But two that I wanted to mention was that the power planet Mars is on the move. Um, it, it is moving. It's changing, pla- it's changing signs Excuse me, on July 26th. And... It's all about governing um, governing ambition and progress and energy and determination. And 
that means it's time to move. It's time to move on. And so if you've been feeling stuck and kind of in place, running in place, and you just haven't had the momentum or the energy or you couldn't seem how to get out of your own way, that's Mars is on Mars to the rescue. It's on it's it's moving forward and it's changing planets and that's amazing. The other thing is the rebel planet Uranus is going retrograde. And when it retrogrades, it's kind of like a whoo freedom. It's a fresh perspective. It's like toss the old ways out. And that's going to be retrograde from the 21st of July to December 21st. So these culminate in opportunities for us to advance ourselves. And that is really important. So when we know that we have an opportunity to act, like today, express yourself, tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. 877-230-3062. Phone lines are open. And you want to call in. You want to have this opportunity to talk about the thorn in your side. Because much like Mars moving planets and Uranus going retrograde, there are opportunities for us to progress. There are opportunities for us to move ourselves forward. And it's ripe for the picking, as I say. It's, it's a time where when you have struggled when you have really just bound yourself up and tied yourself up in knots, you're going to be given the opportunity. The, the energy of the cosmos is coming to the rescue, so to speak. And it's really going to bloom. It's really going to be a time for expansion and for growth and for freedom. So double down on your objectives and on your renewals and on tossing the old things out because that, is when life happens and you make life happen. That's the, that's the uh, miracle. So those are some of the housekeeping things that are going on here on Dear James. You're always, always, always welcome to um, submit a written question. You can go to dearjames.com and click on Ask and submit your question there, and I will answer them and post them to dearjames.com and to my Facebook page. And sometimes I also read them here on the live show because I find that they are something just really clicks in it, that there's synchronicity about why. And so I do that as well. Um, and at the same time, have the courage to call in live. That's the whole point of Dear James is act, interacting with you and to take your calls live so that you can express yourself. And I'm repeating myself, but I'm, I'm kind of hammering home the point that it's an all live, all call in show every single Wednesday. Ah, yes. And every single Wednesday, there'll be a different topic. But the point is for you to call in. The point is for you to interact and to address the issues. And whether it's, you know, the, the passing of a loved one or, or a pet, a favorite, you know, a, a beloved pet or whatever it might be. Whatever is important to you and in that moment you need to talk about, call in. It doesn't have to be on topic. So again, it's toll-free, 877-230-3062. And coming up next Wednesday is Express Yourself, Sex and Sensuality. And it's all about talking about sexuality and our sensuality and how that shapes us and molds us, or it can be a hindrance, or it can be debilitating, it can be an addiction. Whatever the element is surrounding sex and sensuality, call in and let's talk about it. It's an open forum. It's, it's a safe forum. It's always a safe forum. The universe only wants to provide you with help and assistance to move forward. And that is so, so empowering. And, of course, next Thursday, the 31st, I will have Discovering Past Life Regression with Stephanie Risley. And Stephanie is an amazing hypnotherapist. She's based in Los Angeles. And... She is just phenomenal. So you're going to discover the magic of past life, past life regression, future life progression, and how all of those elements actually play a role, a very crucial role in your current life, your current incarnation, the current relationships that you have, um, phobias, anxieties, health issues, all of these different things. There's a beautiful way of looking to previous incarnations, and seeing what 
transcri- what, what is happening in this lifetime, what's transpiring in this lifetime, and what might be holding you back and or the clues to releasing it, to moving forward. So Stephanie is a, an incredibly gifted practitioner, and I'm going to be very, very excited to have her on the show um, next Thursday, July 31st. So that's kind of the, all the housekeeping and the what's happening. And and I did uh, – one last thing, sorry. I did want to mention, again, I'm attending um, the Scottish Highlands and Islands Odyssey Retreat with uh, my incredible guru, as I call her, and, and dear friend, Sheila Height. Um, it's in the Scottish Highlands and Islands, and it's coming up October 3rd to the 11th. And there are just a few spots left. I think there's maybe two or three spots left. So if you have not investigated this, um, please do. Um, it's going to be an amazing, fun time as well as an incredible odyssey and an adventure, a discovery of oneself. Um, and if you, you can go again to dearjames.com and click on radio and you'll see the promotion there for that particular odyssey with Sheila, and or you can go directly to her site, and that's Sheila, S-H-E-I-L-A-A, height, H-I-T-E, dot com. And again, I think uh, there's approximately a week left, and there's only two or three maximum spots left. So if you haven't, by all means, jump, jump in and join us on that amazing odyssey in Scotland coming up October 3rd to the 11th. Okay, so today is express yourself, tell it like it is, and then hear what dear James has to say. And it is express yourself, thorn in your side. Now, and I don't know if you're having a problem getting through because the the switchboard keeps lighting up and then the calls are are, uh, dropping or someone's being silent. So, you know what? Have the courage to call in, stay on the line, and really express yourself be a part of this discuss whatever's going on in your life toll free 877-230-3062 thorn in your side so sometimes we have to ask you know where do the topics for the show come from and and literally they they come to me they tell me that what I meant to talk about is the better way to put it. The universe speaks to me and I, and I have to listen. And, and so it was all about thorn in your side. And, and this morning and, and yesterday, they kept saying to me, you know, crown of thorns, crown of thorns. And, and I found that interesting because as I looked it up, and of course, we all know that, um, that from a, a Christian standpoint with Jesus, um, prior to the crucifixion and everything, he was there was a crown of thorns placed on his head and it it was a symbol, a dual symbol, if you will. Um, the intention of, of those that were, um, crucifying Jesus was to mock him, that it was a mockery. Um, and it was a mockery because of the fact that it was a crown, i.e. it was meant for royalty. Um, and so there was this, obviously cruel play on here here is the king of the jews as they had called him and they had placed a a very harsh crown of thorns upon him in order to mock him and i started to understand more that the issue here with the thorn in your side was that to christian writers you know the association of thorns is the fall of man. And that, in essence, it's our downfall. It's our, um, it's what trips us up. It's what mocks us. And thereby, there was a great desire on behalf of the universe to talk about, to have people discuss the thorns in their side. Because in essence, when we have these thorns, when we have these, um, festering wounds they stay within us they're our downfall they they ultimately mock us and much like christ did uh he rose he ascended he trans he transcended those um those wounds those um attempts at falling 
uh, uh, the attempts at bringing him down is a better way to put it. Um, and he rose above, literally and, and figuratively, he rose above. So there's a, there's a beautiful understanding that when we're dealing with thorny issues or thorns in our side, and we don't express what those are, we don't get them out, we can't possibly transcend them. They are our, they're our downfall. We literally trip upon ourselves, and thereby we somewhat become a, we, we begin a very self-inflicting wound, and it festers, and it gets worse and worse, and so you want to be mindful of the thorns or thorn in your side, depending. Some people have many, some people have one or two. It just depends, but the, the point is that we are meant to address them. We're meant to cleanse the wound. We're meant to transcend the wound so as not to fall from grace. And, and grace is such a powerful, powerful state of being. Um, it's a powerful word. It holds great beauty. Um, so when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about grace, and we're going to talk about mockery and betrayal and so forth, because those are all forms of thorns in our side, and not grace, but the others. And thereby, how do we move through them? How do we move past them? How do we deal with those thorns? So it's Dear James Live here on the Contact Talk Radio Network. Today is Express Yourself, Thorn in Your Side. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. Again, I say to you, have the courage to call in live. It's 877-230-3062. We'll be back after this station break. To be more consciously enlightened is innate. Do you feel there's more to life? If so, find the resource that's right for you by going to dearjames.com slash resources. You are the reality you create. Make it a great one. When you ask a question, the universe hears you, and in a multitude of ways, They seek to communicate with you to provide the intuitive insight, answers, and advice you seek. From serious to silly, monumental to mundane, there's nothing the universe can't cover. Maybe the insight you receive is exactly the affirmation you were looking for. Then again, it may just give you a whole new perspective on things. And that's the beauty of the universe. Submit your question to Dear James at DearJames.com and click Ask. Available for private, individual, group, and corporate consultations, Dear James will provide you with the intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions. Schedule your consultation by going to www.dearjames.com and click on Consultation. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. Today is Thorn in Your Side. And, of course, the first two callers receive a free 30-minute private intuitive consultation with me, Dear James. The number to call in is 877-230-3062. We're not sure if we're having a problem with the lines or not. Uh, The switchboard keeps lighting up, and then we get a lot of dead air. So in case 
you are calling in or you have your mute button on or something like that is happening. Um, or if you're calling in from a cell number or something, just make sure you have a clear signal. But uh, we know that people are attempting to call in and we're just trying to discern whether it's a technical problem or not. But we're going to continue to move forward because that is what the energy is all about with that good uh, Mars moving on and Uranus going backwards. So it's all opportunity to keep trucking. So again, dear James, express yourself, tell it like it is, and then hear what dear James has to say. 877-230-3062 is the toll-free number to call in. And we are talking about thorn in your sides. And before we went to break, we were talking about grace and we were talking about the act of grace um, and how thorns, from a Christian perspective, um, thorns, writers associate the thorns with the fall of man, and thereby thorns in your side, for me, equate to your downfall, that when left unchecked and when left inside, they fester and they create dis-ease, disease, dis-ease, and they, when, when, when you have a thorn in your side, when you have a deep-rooted issue or something that you have not released or let go of, it will eat away at you and eat away at you. And that, of course, is toxic. It's incredibly toxic. And you know what happens. It's, it's like when you look at a, a, um, a room and you sweep the room and you clean the room and here's this big pile of dust and and debris and so forth that's sitting in the middle of the room, and you never put it into the dustpan and take it out and throw it away. It's left there. You may have tidied up around the edges. You may have, you know, thought you dealt with something. But if you left it in there, if you never truly transcended it, it's, it's garbage. It's toxic. It's sitting there in your room. It's sitting in your being. It's in your soul, and that is not a good place for it to be because it wreaks havoc on your entire being. It wreaks havoc in your life, your relationships, your work. Every, it's a thread. Every piece of it is a thread, and when you realize that one element, and whether it's joyful, you know, you can look at something that's joyful and see how that just multiplies, but when it's something that is a negative, if you will, something detrimental, you see how that energy affects every single element of your life. And you realize then that this thorn in your side that you haven't been dealing with is now playing out in your familial relationships, your friendships, your love relationships, your work relationships, your career, your life. It, it consumes you. And it's festering. And other people can tell. Other people are interacting with you. And they know, hey, something's, rotten. something's not right. Something had to have happened with this person. And so when we look at this, this thorn, in essence, is mocking you. Because it, it's wanting to get your attention. Because it's wanting you to transcend it. And... I keep talking about that because it's, it's vitally important to understand that that's what's taking place. Is the thorn is really a gift, and it's there so that you will transcend it. It's not there so that you'll become a buddy with it and keep it. You're meant to transcend it. And so you don't want to have those. You don't want to miss the opportunity is what I'm saying. So the thorn in your side is an opportunity to transcend an issue. And that is vitally important. So we're going to go to my first caller, James from Toronto. Hello, James. Hey, James. How are you doing today? I'm good. I want, I want to actually acknowledge something as well. I've, I've done 20-plus shows so far and everything, and you are the first male caller. So thank you for having the courage to call in. Uh, no worries. I, uh, That's awesome. I look, <laughs> look forward to getting your insight. So I know the show is about... Uh, thorns in your side, and um, for over maybe the past, I don't know, uh, half a year now, uh, my job, my career has really been a thorn in my side. 
I've lost the passion. There's been quite a number of changes and upheaval. And, um, I mean, everyone around here feels like they have a target on their back with regard to, um, you know, layoffs. Um, and there are a number of waves of layoffs occurring. Um, I'm just wondering if you could provide any kind of insight in regard to maybe my future career path. And, you know, I've lost my passion, and I'm a pretty passionate person. My passion drives me, and right. um, I'm not really feeling it anymore here. And uh, I know attitude is a big, uh, it's a little thing that really holds a big weight in regard to the way you um, are perceived and even the way you, like, perceive things. But it's just, uh, I mean, I try to have a good attitude, but it's its hard sometimes. I was just wondering if uh, any advice you can give me or any insight into, you know, what the future holds. Absolutely. Well, one of the first things, you know, two things that I was writing down as you were speaking that, that were popping up to me is that, and, and you were hitting on them already, but, you know, uh, I'm going to start with the big one and then go to the second one, but, and, and just hear the word for a second, ego. There was part of this that's ego. And there's part of this that there's there's new bosses. There's a lot of shuffling going on, which which obviously, if there are layoffs and so forth. But what I was getting was that, have you been reassigned, or were you have you been shuffled, or or you're reporting to someone new and so forth? And this this there's a, a personality conflict there and so forth. Mm, not that, really. Uh, I have been yeah. shuffled, but I was shuffled under a um, a person that I worked with in the past. And, okay. Uh, you know, we work with each other rather well so um, okay it's, it's not that it's, it's more um, uh, I'm thinking maybe you're right about ego like I mean it's more about the way I'm I'm feeling maybe I'm being maybe my ego is taking over more because I'm you know I, I'm not right. being as uh, as uh, like how I used to be I'm, I'm you know it's hard when a lot of the people that you're friends with or you, you Built these relationships up with are no longer around, and you know it's just hard to focus. Right, right. Well, I mean, and when I say ego, part of this, what I'm talking about in terms of ego is that you know, you know, the party for you left a long time ago, and and you've been. What I get is that you've been you've stayed on well past its expiration date, and you did it. Um, you know, you did it like many people do for security. You did it as you know, there was a, a lack of there was a lack of drive and, and impetus to to propel yourself forward. You know, in other words, what I'm saying is you kind of ha- you, you you came to an attitude, a, a place, an ego of this is good. I'll just kind of I'll just kind of stretch it out or wait it out or you know I'll it'll just be enough. It'll be okay. And that has really worn on you. That has really caused um, what I'm getting. What, what they're saying to me is that it, it, it's worn you down. It's it's actually caused you to become very disenchanted, not just with work, but kind of life in general. It's very ho hum wow. right now for you. Would that resonate? Right? Yeah. Wow. Right. So it's it's really, and this is what I was talking about a minute ago before the break it was. You can see how this one thorn, and, and the thorn isn't your job. The thorn, the thorn in your side was not really going after your dreams and your goals. This job came along at the right time. It served a purpose very well. It really kind of got you up and on your feet. But then you stayed past long past its expiration date. You got comfortable. And so the thorn here is that your feeling, it's your soul saying to you, hey, remember these things that you wanted to do? Remember these, these, you know, these ambitions and goals that we had? And they're sitting there, they're festering, because they want you, you know, the soul wants you to transcend those things that are holding you down, that are holding you back. And so the biggest thing, which we're gonna, we'll talk about in our private consultation, but the biggest thing they want you to do 
is get active. And they mean that get active, get proactive, get active, period. And I, I don't, I don't, I'm going to call you out a little bit here, James. Okay, you gotten, you've gotten a bit lazy, yeah? <laughs> not yet. Not only in... in I mean in career, all ways. But in life, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sitting, on, sitting on the sofa is not doing you any favors. Wow. You know, wow, James. You're so <laughs> like, because I w- I've recently seen my doctor and she said the exact same. She's basically said, yeah, I need to get active. I have, like, I, I, I have three months and I have another appointment with her and she's like going to reassess my health and if uh, she doesn't see changes within, well, now it's about two months, she's going to put me on a regime of pills and and things yeah. that she wants to mitigate some some issues. But, yeah, it all stems, wow, man. You're, wow. Yeah, you, you, you do not want that. You, this is your wake-up call, James. This is your, this is the universe pulling out. You know, I always say they, they, they kind of talk softly, then they start getting a little bit louder, then they start giving you the, you know, the flashing lights and everything. And then they pull out the two by four and they just whack you (laughs) because that's how it works. I mean, literally, because, you know, we all signed up for things in life and we're meant to do them. And so this is a wake up call for you to seize control, to regain, you know, to ascend, to, to not do not be the downfall of yourself. And it, and the only one that has control of yourself is you. So you, this is an opportunity to get active, get proactive, and really start moving yourself into a place of prosperity, of, of, of peace, prosperity, good health. You control all those elements. So if you start looking, if you kind of dust off, and I don't, you know, they're showing me like old records, and do you have LPs or something? Do you have, did you, was it... I don't know, rock band, music, there's something going on there. And they're saying to me, the way for you to reconnect with your soul is to go retro, is what they're saying to me. Hmm. Like, look at the things that, as a, as a young man, as a kid, a young man, a youthful young man, see life from those eyes. What would the young, youthful guy that was just starting out, what would he do? You follow me? Yeah, I mean... You're, uh, uh, you're never too old, James. You're never too it's old. It's a little hard with, like, life, uh, you know. No, no, I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to be tough with you. You and I have the same name. I'm going to be tough with you. <laughs> I sometimes need tough love, too. That's right. And I'm saying that with, with all the love in the world. From I, I truly mean it. No more excuses. No more. You've... You've wrapped yourself in that cloak of comfortableness and getting lazy and excuses and why you can't do things or why you shouldn't do them. And look where that's gotten you. That's, you're not happy. And you got to turn that unhappiness into, I really can do these things. I really can achieve whatever I want to achieve because I'm the one responsible. You you don't, you know, you you don't want to pass up the opportunity of achieving those dreams because they will, the universe will come at you because what you're saying to them is, okay, I'm okay. This is great. And so what they're going to do is give you more of that greatness. Once I'm active, once I'm proactive in regards to the all aspects of my life everything will change because one begets the other the minute you just start walking even if it's around the block the minute you start looking at what's outside take a walk in wilderness look at look at the flower and the trees i'm not being i'm not being silly or naive here just the simplest act turn off the television Hide the remote and throw it away for a while. And every time you want to do what you normally do, go out and force yourself to do something better. Every time you think old, pull in that young, hungry kid 
pull him back in and say, what would you do? Ask him, what would you want me to do? And he'll You're, tell you. The words you use too, James, hungry. Like I, I feel I used to be a lot more hungry for things in life, like for new job positions or opportunities. And, and now I think like I, I've lost that hunger. I've become complacent. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's why they're saying to you, this is the wake up call. This is get your ego and, you know, all of the I can'ts and the, you know, the lack and all that. Realize that you've been living that and where it's gotten you and then consciously start to act, be proactive with yourself. Start seeing, you know, and visualize here's all this stuff going on. And it's a big thorn. It's festering in my side. And then each act that you take is salve. It's medicine that's pulling it out. It's extracting. It's, it's diminishing the, the festering, the blister. When you start seeing that, oh, my God, I went out and I just looked at nature. I went out and I took a walk. I went out and I wrote down my dreams. I went and I talked with my inner youthful guy, that hungry guy. And he, this is what he told me. That starts changing every aspect of your being. It starts changing your perspective, your outlook. It changes your energy. It changes your brain. And all of a sudden, you're, you're a whole other guy, James, doing a whole other new life that you actually really love because you gave yourself permission and that Any is tips huge. on how to mitigate like the excuses that I make? Like, yes, one you know. simple thing. <laughs> and you're not going to like this, but don't make them. The minute you feel an excuse coming on, I always say stop and pivot. Because now you're going to be consciously aware that you're making excuses and you're going to have a choice. The minute the excuse comes, the minute the you know that potato chip bag is in your hands, the minute that remote is in your hands, the minute your derriere is on that couch, you're going to know you're making excuses. It's up to you to change it. You have to. You are the one that has to change it. But you'll be incredibly mindful now that that's what's happening. So we're going to go into more of this. I'm going to go into a lot more detail with you um, in our private reading. We're going to set that up, and I need you to stay on the line so that Barb, uh, my producer, can get your information and everything, and then I will contact you, and we'll set up a, you know, our private consultation and everything. Is that good? Yeah, man. Thank you so much. You've been uh, you've been very insightful, and and thanks so much for the straight talk. Absolutely. I, it's tell it like it is and then hear what dear James has to say. And I want to, again, thank you, James, for being the first male caller. It was very awesome. And I'm, uh, thank you so much for you calling in. My pleasure. Thanks again. All right. I'll be in touch. So you're listening to Dear James Live. I, I know I have Elizabeth here on the line. So Elizabeth, hold on there. We're going to take a quick station break. Um, you're listening to Dear James Live on the radio. It is Express Yourself, Thorn in Your Side. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. We'll be back right after this station break. Available for private, individual, group, and corporate consultations, Dear James will provide you with the intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions. Schedule your consultation by going to www.dearjames.com and click on Consultation. The gift of giving is immeasurable. Give of your time, talent, resources, and money. Give not only because you can, but because by doing so, it is already coming back to you. As a people, we are only as strong as the least among us. 
Together, we harness the power of the collective whole and see through our deeds the power of miracles, both large and small. Find the charity that's right for you by visiting www.dearjames.com and click on Charitable Giving. One person or kind act really does make the difference. When you ask a question, the universe hears you, and in a multitude of ways, they communicate to you the intuitive insight, answers, and advice you seek. Ask Dear James a question and experience the magic of the universe. Visit DearJames.com and click Ask. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is, and then hear what Dear James has to say. Today's topic is thorn in your side, and I want to go to Elizabeth. She's been holding. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hi. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm taking it one day at a time. That's all. Oh, well, what's going on? Tell me what's happening. Well, I'm having very uh, difficult times financially, and I'm uh, I'm on Social Security. I'm elderly, and I okay. supplement my my income. I'm a reader, a psychic reader, and okay. I need I need to really uh, bring in more income. And I'm just wondering, do you think that I will find another place to read other than the place that I'm working now? Yes, but what they're saying to me here, here. So the answer, the 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 answer is yes. Here's the here's the issue though. Like like all practitioners, okay. we have to re, we have to be incredibly mindful of our own energy and our own um, yes. contra, our own contributions, if you will. And what yes. they're saying to me, they I kept writing this word down as you were speaking, uh, repeating it, and it was cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. And okay. what they're saying is that you need, she, they're saying right off the bat, they go, she needs a timeout. <laughs> I kind of like how they're saying that. Um, but this, you, I don't really understand. You know, when you say uh, a timeout, meaning you need to take a break, you need a timeout, you need to okay. cleanse. You have been so um, vigilant in your focus of, and, and hear this the right way of money, 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 meaning pay the bills. Got to have a live. Got to be able to put stuff in the, you know, you, you've been so manic, if you will, about okay. your living that that's blocking you. It's blocking all your energy. It's tainting all of your abilities. It's, it's, okay. you know, it's, it's blocking your positiveness. And this makes sense. It's, it's ringing, it's ringing true to you. Yes, it is, James. Okay. So because Elizabeth, I, what happened was I moved last year. I had to move because my they sold the building I was living in, and right. they gave us like sixty days to move. So I I moved to a new place with a lot more expenses. So I've been focused on how I can pay my bills and keep my head above water. So what you're okay. saying makes perfect sense to me. Right, and and something I want you to realize, which you probably haven't, is. Hear what you just said. I moved to a place that has a lot more expenses, yes. but it's also nicer, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay. So you realize that that place was a gift from the universe. You're doing the good work. You just need to remember that you're also worthy of it. It was a gift that was given to you, not a burden. And you've been I looking see. at this place and this move a- and this challenge as a burden. Oh, oh, this makes such sense. Thank you. <laughs> and thereby, once you stop, you take a time out. We, you, you, uh, can I say something, please? It's absolutely. like saying, don't list, look a gift horse in the mouth. Exactly. This was a gift, and I'm seeing it as, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Exactly. That's very funny. Like, literally, as you said that, the little time on our meter went three, three, three. And as you, 333 in spirit language is the ascended masters are around you. 
Okay, so, so I'm you're... trying to, I'm seeing this as a burden when actually it's a gift and I have to feel worthy of the gift. Exactly. You're, it's a tremendous gift. They moved you up. They moved I you know. up. The more that you stepped forward, they moved you up. Okay. And so you have to now understand by taking this break, by, by kind of just hitting the reset button, by cleansing your thoughts and your, your space. And, and what they're saying to me is you're, you need to really start looking. You, you just have to fundamentally shift your perspective and your, your attitude, your, your interior. Start looking at everything beautiful because you've also kind of, you've also kind of let things go. Yes. 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 Do you understand what I mean? Okay. You kind of let things what? go in, in the house with yourself. You kind of let things go. Yes, yes. This is all about bringing it back, uh, uh, putting it out on the front porch. This is all about you loving you, reinvigorating your space, reinvigorating you. Okay. You, you can't give, you know, you can't give other people the greatness that you hold within yourself if it's if it's tainted you're giving them a quarter of yourself at best you follow me yes yes and so when when you start shining when you clean your you know and i mean this in, in in a in a loving way when you clean yourself up and your space up and you you take this time out and you just completely fundamentally shift then all of that positiveness, all of that energy, all of that beauty, that light is going to start shining out. And all of a sudden, phone's ringing. Can I get a booking? Can I, you know, when can I see you? Oh, this opera, can you come and read over here? Will you show up over there? But Okay, because I've been calling around different places trying to find a place to read, and I've had no success. Because you and weren't ready. You weren't I'm ready. St- I'm starting to panic because I have... No rent to pay and but i'm gonna start looking from this moment on as this is a gift and like you said i've been seeing it as a burden yeah the minute you start realizing that you have so much abundance in your life and don't for abundance can be just looking out your window Mm -hmm. abundance can be just being with yourself Mm-hmm. And that's been dimmed for, for quite a while. That's been dimmed down. Okay. And so the reason that you haven't had these new clients or opportunities is because you're being protected. It's not rejection. It's protection. And because the universe doesn't want to put you out there, you know, sometimes as we say, you know, you put your best foot forward and you make your best first impression. You get that one chance to make a first impression. Okay. They, they don't want you to step into an abundant audience in a in a less than optimal fashion. I see. I wanted to be oh. more colorful with what I was going to say, but I can't say that on the radio. So, you know, they want you. But, they're they're protecting you. Okay. Go ahead. You you had a but. Go ahead. Um, I don't I don't remember what it was, but okay. it sounds to me like you're saying that. Once I start realizing that I'm worthy of the gifts that the universe is offering me and celebrate, uh, I'm so glad you said about moving up because I came here feeling like, well, I don't know if I can afford it, but I'm going to give it my best shot. And I I came with that in a leap of faith, but I've been yes. so worried and so concerned you know, um, that I'd been focusing primarily on the financial and not realizing you, you cleared up something really good for me because I needed to hear that this was a gift from, from the universe. I needed a, to know that. It's absolutely a gift. And, and, and the thorn, if you will, since the topic is thorn in your side, the thorn in your side has been the fear of lack. Yes. That's the thorn. And thereby okay. you focused... You focused in, on the thorn and kind of became the thorn. You okay. became the lack. You see what I mean? Okay. So once you, once you release this and once you start saying, you know, it's, it's like, you know, when you just go out and you, you put on that new dress and it just makes you feel good? Yes. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Get, get gussied up. 
get your mojo back. You need to take a time okay. out. They, they literally want you to take like take a week and really clean everything up. Go go treat yourself. You know, put on that new nice dress. Put on the lipstick. You know, have lunch somewhere. Do something. You know, really feel the abundance. Call okay. up the girlfriends and you know and hey, let's go. Okay. Life is good. And the more okay, you so start to go ahead. Go ahead. And I was just saying, the more that you start shifting all of that and you start seeing I'm gonna be more than just fine, I'm gonna be great. It wow. all starts shifting. And then you just you you know, ah, see the you know, see the clients and now I'm I'm gussied up, I'm feeling good, my energy is up here, my light is up here. Mm -hmm. Then when you go out knocking in the doors and with the energy and everything, because remember, mm -hmm. too, you know, this Mars, Uranus and all those, you know, it's planetary, too. You're held in place for a reason sometimes. If we're okay. not ready, we're not ready. Okay. Or if we're going to misstep, we're going to misstep. And then they don't want that for you. They've already given you this great new palace to live in. Okay. Right? And I was afraid <laughs> that I was going to have to break my lease and move because financially mm -hmm. is difficult but no. when i came here i felt that i belonged here but i've yep. just been so worried you know that maybe i've forgotten that yeah they were way you know truly it's time for you to match the place okay. you it was you needing to catch up you're absolutely good enough for this place and and then some so oh, wow. it's all about understanding I don't know why this, I'm going to say this and I don't know why. mama's back, you know, like <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay. That's what you need to do. Now, I, I, I know Barb's gotten all of your information. So you and I are going to go into more in depth in our private consultation. So I will be in touch after the show. And uh, thank you. James. God bless you. You're most welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. And God bless you. You're a beautiful soul. You've got a lot of great stuff coming. So. We'll be talking Thank about you. that in the private reading. Thank you so much, James. You're welcome. Have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, everyone. So express yourself. Tell it like it is and then hear what dear James has to say. Today's show was about thorn in your side. Remembering next week, next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is express yourself, sex and sensuality. So, again, always have the courage to call in. It's, it, it's transforming, and you transcend issues. And, and it's amazing when you, like you've heard with the callers, James and Elizabeth, when the universe speaks to you, it resonates deeply with your soul, and it, it's the impetus to move forward. It's the impetus to change, to let go, to transcend. And like the thorn, we don't want it to be our downfall. We want it to be our transcendence, our transformation are releasing. And that's so vitally important in life. And I, I, I love all of you for listening and for calling in and for making Dear James Live what it is, an all-live call-in show. And again, next Thursday, uh, Discovering Past Lives with Stephanie Risley. That'll be on Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll leave you with this thought. If you feel that there's a thorn in your side and you know it's festering, and you know it's wreaking havoc in your life and your, your career and your, your jobs and your relationships, do something about it. And when I say do something about it, do something positive and proactive for yourself. Never do harm to another. Always look within and see what you can do for yourself. See how you can move yourself forward. That is the beauty and the gift of the universe. That's why the thorn is there. It's, you're not meant to become it. You're meant to transcend it. And the only way you do that is by getting real with yourself. So thank you again for listening today. This is Dear James Live. Express yourself. Tell it like it is. And then hear what Dear James has to say here on the Contact Talk Radio Network. And as I always say in my closing, no matter where you are or whom you're with, or what you're doing, wrap yourself in goodness. Thank you all so much. Carol Ritberger is up at the top of the hour, and I'll see you next week. You've been listening to 
Dear James Live on the radio with your host, Dear James. Gain intuitive insight, answers, and advice to your life questions and so much more by tuning in next week and visiting DearJames.com.